My name is Jonathan Thompson. I'm the band director at Heritage Middle School in Deltona, Florida. I've always been a musician. Uh, ever since I was in middle school, I joined band. Always enjoyed performing and the arts in general. And it's a pleasure to be able to share my passions with the kids every day. I feel in another life, maybe perhaps I'd be an engineer. I love tinkering, I love building. I think I owe a lot to my parents buying me every Lego set I could ever want. And having that creative outlet to just have something here and to make it. And I just got into this hobby a couple, a couple years ago. I always wanted to make a rolling ball sculpture. And so a few years ago, I just came across a how-to video and then just started making these. It was like, it was a hobby for me. And uh, I suppose, as the story goes, for many artists, starts as a hobby, just want to do it. You know, for me, I want to put one in my house. And then I did a YouTube video, and it got a bunch of hits, and someone asked if it was for sale. So I put it up for a price, and, uh, and it sold. And I was ecstatic, like just so excited that someone else appreciated something I made. And I was looking at it thinking, man, I can do better. I know I can do better. So for about the last two years now, I've uh, just been doing this. So full-time band director, and now this has almost become a second full-time job for me. There's a couple of different kinds I make. Some of them are completely manual. So you'll pick up the marbles with your hand, drop them at the top. Harvey, the sculpt, that's uh, semi-automatic. So you still load the marbles in the top, but then as they run, it'll actually hit a switch and it'll run on its own for like five to eight minutes. And then there's the fully automatic ones, the motorized ones. And those, I think adults really like to watch because we'd kind of prefer to just kind of stand back and just, just appreciate it and watch it move on its own. The ideas that my sculptures come from, they basically will start with a, a general idea. I know if I want it to be on the wall, if I want it to be a desktop, I know a general shape, and I, I usually pick one element I want to be in there. So if is it, a, is it a big greasy gear? Is it a skull, for instance? Is it the shape I want it to be on the wall? And then it goes to how many tracks are going to be in that piece. Is it motorized? Is it, is it all manual? And then from there, it, it has to take on its mind of its own, really. You know, I, once I start putting metal together and laying the track, I stand back for long periods of time, just kind of look at it and say, what's going to look best? Where should that go? You know, and it's, it's an ever-changing process. I have yet to make one piece from start to finish that starts out as a drawing and finishes the same way. It always is just going to change along the way. My kids, my students, I always bring in my work uh, to show my students. They love it. Some of them, they get the same face I see a lot of adults get to. It's amazement. Uh, they're just, they're mesmerized. Just to watch something just simple, just kind of moving down a track. I can't really explain it, but there's just something that's enjoyable about that, something that's mesmerizing. I'm still coming to terms with what I'm actually creating. When I'm finished and I stand back and I will say to myself, I, I made that. I, I just created that. That came from here. And it still kind of blows my mind um, that I'm creating something completely new, something completely different. The final product, when it is finished, is a great joy for me because these take hundreds of hours to go through. It is very much a joy and a passion and seeing it with my, my newfound success in, uh, in actually being able to share my, my art with others uh, and selling them, doing commissions and whatnot, I hope that I'm never gonna lose that same passion and it doesn't become a job. And I'm confident the amount of ideas, the amount of different things I can create, it's endless. So I don't think I'll ever run out of ideas of what to create next and I don't think I'll ever get bored Watch full episodes of Artisodes every Thursday at 8 p.m. on WUCF-TV.